I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn when to use permutation and how to use permutation. So this video could be a bit longer. Now the key question which you need to ask is, is order important? Let me write down in red, is order important? Now this question decides whether we can solve the question by permutation or combination, right? If the answer is yes, then we use permutation, right? So if the order is important, we use permutation. To give you some examples, uh, let me write down one for you. Um, okay, so we'll get to the examples later, but what we can understand from here that the key question to decide whether we are going to use permutation or combination is importance of order, right? So that means if I am writing two numbers, let's say 2, 3, and then 3, 2, you know the order is important. 2, 3 is 23, 3, 2 is 32, and therefore, in such cases, permutation should be used, right? Now the next question which you should be asking is, can the same object be selected more than once, right? So we have decided we are using permutation and now the second question for us is, can the same object be used more than once. Now, the answers could be yes or no, right? So it could be yes or no. Right? So the question is, can the same object be used more than once? So if the answer is yes, we use fundamental counting principle. And if the answer is no, in that case, again, we can ask the question, are some objects identical, right? So if it is no, then we can ask further questions. Uh, the questions could be, are some objects identical right so that is the question and then you could have the answer yes or no so here we can get two guesses which is yes or no right if the answer is yes that means some objects are identical in that case the formula used is n factorial over a factorial times B factorial like that where these are the identical objects in case the objects are not identical in that case we use the formula NPR right so we use NPR the meaning of NPR is n factorial over n minus r factorial so basically these are the questions which help you figure out whether you're going to apply permutation or not and if you apply permutation what are different uh, ways in which it could be used so now let us take some examples to understand each and every technique so now we know that since the order is important we are using permutation the second question being can the same object be used more than once the answer is yes then you use fundamental counting principle. Now let me give you one example. Uh, let us say I have the digits. Consider the digits, uh, let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we want to look for how many two digit even numbers right? can be 
found, right? So we want to how many two digit even numbers are there, right? So, so that is what we are interested in. Now here, since we are looking for the even numbers, we know these digits can be used more than once, right? So how many two digit even numbers are possible? So let us say these are the two digits. Now once place, we have zero, two, and four. So the possibility for once places, there are three digits, right? Zero, two, and four, which could go to once place. As far as the tens place is concerned, we cannot place zero there. The numbers will be one, two, three, four, and five. That means five numbers are there, right? Since these are the, the counting which we have, the fundamental counting principle says that the total combinations will be product of these two. That means you need to multiply. So 5 times 3 equals to 15. You get your answer. So how many two digit even numbers can be made from the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? The answer is 15, right? So, so that is how you use fundamental counting principle. Now, we'll look into the next question, which is, are some objects identical, right? So, let's take up an example where we do have some objects which are identical. For example, uh, let's take a word banana, right? So, so, let's give an example here. So, our example here is how many... words can be made with or without meaning uh, from letters in let's say banana now so we are saying are some objects identical so in this particular case we do see that we have some identical objects we have uh, three A's and we have two N's, right? Now the answer should be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So we are using this formula. Six factorial, there are six letters divided by three A's, that means three factorial, times two N's, so two factorial. So that is the answer, which we'll write down as, uh, let's say six times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 divided by 3 times 2 times 2, correct? And this could be kind of simplified like this. We get 5 times 4, 20 times 3, 60 as our answer, right? So that becomes the number of words which can be formed from letters in banana, right? So that is 60, correct? So that is an, an example uh, which we can use, right? Now, let me take up an example where the answer is no to are some objects identical, right? In that case, if there are no common objects, in that case, we use the formula NPR, right? Which really means N factorial over N minus R factorial, right? You know what factorial is. We just use 6 factorial. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. There is no need to write 1. Correct. Now here, I will take two examples, uh, one in which we will select all the items and one in which we will select some of the items. So there could be actually two cases, NPR, we will apply this formula with NPN and NPR, okay? Well, R equals to N, I mean to say, right? So if the question is that we have a list of five songs, right? So if we have a list of five songs, then um, different orders orders are important. Different orders in which five songs can be played, right? Can be played. So that could be the question for you. And as you know, there are five songs, different orders. So the answer is we have to select all the five, right? Different orders in which five songs can be played. Uh, let me write from a list of five songs. 
Okay, so that is absolutely clear, right? So there are five songs to be played from a list of five songs, and the solution for this is N. I mean N P R. N is five, and we have to select all five. So we can write five P five. Correct. So that is uh, five factorial divided by N which is 5, 5 minus 5 factorial, okay? So 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 factorial. So we get the answer as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. And therefore, the answer for this question is 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3, 60 times 2, 120, right? So there are 120 ways in which a list of five songs can be played where important thing is their order right so in different orders these songs can be played right so here we are taking all the five at the same time good so therefore the answer is 5p5 now if the question is that we need to select let us select uh, the say president and uh, vice president right and vice president from a committee of let's say 10 members so we have to select president and vice president from a committee of 10 members how many ways are there to do this selection now here president and vice president are two different posts Therefore, the order of selecting two out of these five is very important, right? Therefore, we are using permutation. Since there are 10 members to select from, 10p2 is the solution, right? Which is 10 factorial by 10 minus 2 factorial, which is 10 uh, times 9, okay? Because 10 minus 2 is 8 factorial. So, let's say 8 factorial divided by... 8 factorial this cancels off so we get 90 okay so we get 90 right so there are 90 ways in which president and vice president can be selected from a committee of 10 members well that completes more or less all the combinations of counting where permutation will be used so let me revise this important thing is when to use permutation whenever the order is important we have to use permutation and if we are using permutation then we have a case where the objects can be used more than once or they may not be used more than once if they are used more than once follow counting principles if they are not being used more than once in that case some of the objects could be identical or none of the objects is identical depending on that we have different formulas n factorial over a factorial b factorial c factorial and so on is where there are a types of identical objects b types of another identical objects and so on as we took the example with banana where we have three a's so to be divided by three factorial two n's divided by two factorial total number of letters was six so 6 factorial comes in the numerator in case we are selecting not all but i mean we are selecting from unique items where none of them is identical to any other distinct items in that case the formula is npr so we took up two examples for npr one where all the items were selected one in which some were selected and I hope that gives you a good idea. We'll follow up with a few more questions on permutations to give you practice. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.